In today's episode of the Spring Report, we are covering the new Callaway Rogue ST irons, all three models. Danny's with me to do some testing and review the products and tell you everything you need to know. Also, golfers, make sure you skip to the final chapter for our final thoughts. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahol with Second Swing Golf, joined today by Danny Farrell, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. New irons, Danny, for 2022 Callaway Rogue ST. They've got three models here. A lot of uh, game improvement performance, a lot of technology, a lot of forgiveness packed in here. And Callaway always delivers in that department. Absolutely. I'm very, very excited about this kind of trifecta of the new line coming from them. You know, the Maverick line was phenomenal, explosive distance, right? Yeah. We saw loft kind of disappear where yeah. you know, club heads were getting stronger. That has not changed. Mm -hmm. So when we go into the heads these days, there's a lot more tungsten weight. That's the hottest trend in golf. Tungsten, yeah. tungsten, tungsten. Yeah. Same thing as on the wedding ring is in the club head, <laughs> right? So there's a lot of that. It's just where it is that we're going to talk about later today once we get into start testing. Mm -hmm. But as far as forgiveness, significantly higher. I mean, they're talking about 188% uh, more forgiving mm -hmm. than previous generations yeah. or the Maverick itself. That's all got to do with weight. Where exactly. That is. Yeah, that's, you talk about that tungsten weight. Uh, there's, so I, I think the, the 62 grams is in the max. Yep. 62, that's a lot. It is. And there's 49 in the max OS, 48 yep. in the Pro, okay. and then 46 down in the, uh, the max OS light version. The light head. So okay. uh, it's going to be for those more moderate swing speeds. But, uh, so actually there's four models, but that max OS is you know, similar in terms of uh, the light version versus normal. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, artificial intelligence has been Callaway's kind of MO the last three, four years now. I think right. it's the epic flash line with the, the woods they started it. And the last couple of years, they've brought it all the way down to the irons now. Right. And Rogue ST is no exception. Uh, right. They re keep refining it, keep adding it. It's, what it is is a unique club face structure that basically stabilizes the club head, pr produces high ball speed throughout the whole face mm -hmm. at impact. So there's that stability, that forgiveness you're talking about where if golfers miss the center of the face, that AI design structure is going to produce the ball speeds for them still. Absolutely, and that's what manufacturers are targeting on. I mean, take a look. It's pretty easy to figure out where the weight is. Yep. Here and there, yep. <laughs> right? So yep. where do a lot of players miss? Heel and toe. <laughs> yep. So of course they want more weight there. Mm -hmm. So they can be more explosive across the entire face. Mm -hmm. Let's get to work and see what these have. Yeah, to do. absolutely, absolutely. And then I so t for today's testing, I'm using, I will be t I'll be hitting shots. I'm using the Tour V KBS shaft. Yep. Um, now, but except for the stock shafts from Cali, we should note uh, the steel shaft is the True Temper Elevate okay. MPH, which stands for Max Peak Height, not miles go. per hour. There Max Peak Height. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and then the graphite shaft. There is the Project X Cipher. Mm -hmm. uh, and then in terms of the Maverick, or uh, excuse me, the Rogue ST Pro, you also have the rifle for Project X right. and the steel shaft. So right. uh, you also have the Tenzai mm -hmm. AV Blue as one of the graphite shaft shaft options as well in the Max irons. But mm -hmm. um, we've covered a lot here. Uh, basically, we're going to see forgiveness. We're going to see distance. We're going to see stability. Yep. Uh, another great line here from Callaway. But uh, I'm, I'm ready to hit some shots here. Absolutely. <laughs> one quick thing I want to touch on is loft. Oh, uh, good point. Mm -hmm. So the Max is going to be the 27 and a half. Max OS 28.5 and the Rogue ST Pro is going to be at 30.5. So a little bit of variation in terms of loft, but I'm interested to see what yeah. happens spin and launch characteristics. So I am too. Let's get to work. All right, so Drew, we're going to take a look at the Rogue ST Max iron first. Probably the widest um, net of players are going to fit into this one for sure. But loft at 27 and a half, it's getting a little strong, yeah. just like the Maverick line. It's definitely stronger than what I'm used to in the yeah. seven iron. Uh, yeah. But uh, looking down at this thing, I mean, there's, you can see the forgiveness. Like you can see it there. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty thick top line okay. um, and also see some offset there too. So, okay. uh, and then there is kind of that, um, you know, on the outside of the face, that kind of shiny reflective chrome look. Okay. So, um, like kind of, does that kind of frame it for you nicely? Mm -hmm. You know, with the golf ball there, does that help with alignment? You know what? It, it does. I haven't really thought of it that way. Okay. Uh, but there's a very clear, like, contrast when you're looking down at it. You know, Love from the, the shiny chrome to then kind of the, the grooves. I do like that, now that you mention it. It does kind of serve as a way of alignment. And the bottom, is it bottom one groove, bottom two grooves, or paint, paint filled in white? Yeah, the two, two, two grooves on the bottom. So that okay. actually does, in terms of then, you can kind of see alignment-wise, if you're closed, you're open. 
okay. you know, that does help kind of square it too. So good to know because that does not um, take effect into the Rogue ST <sighs> Pro head that we're going to go into. Okay. We lose that paint though. That's Interesting. why I wanted to bring okay. that up too. Yeah. So I wonder if I would have even caught that if you hadn't <laughs> said it. I probably wouldn't have. <laughs> Well, let's, let's hit it. Give it a ride. I'm guessing 205, Carrie, 210. Oh, man. In the books here. You know what? At 27 and a half degrees, it's probably possible. Send it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now that is some low spin. It's significantly low spin. Yeah, I want to keep an eye on launch. I want to keep an eye on spin and overall height, descent angle, all that good stuff. definitely a firm feel to it like you can I keep it 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 feels like you know I'm, I'm playing a set of i210s right now mm -hmm. well i210 in the lower irons in my combo set right and uh, it feels like when I hit the i210 on um, low on the grooves is kind of what it, <laughs> this feels like okay. in the center okay because those two shots were very well struck mm -hmm. it just has a different feel than I'm used to Yeah, the sound, there's definitely a little echo to it back here. Again, that's all the tumps and weight in there. Club heads are going to get you know, what we call yeah. clicky, you know, almost sound-wise or feel-wise for players. I've seen it a lot in the bays. Mm -hmm. And that's just all going to do with the tumps and weighting in there. The club heads you play don't have nearly as much tumps well, yeah. in them, so they're softer. Yeah. There's less sound to them. But they're also less forgiving than what this is. Very, very good stuff. We'll see a couple more. I wonder if I'm going to get over 4,000 spin with this club. <laughs> that might That'll do it. Spin over four. That was almost a shank. No, it won't. That's interesting. <laughs> I, that felt like, I mean, a shank, actually. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's still a, a decent mount right, but it does not feel like it should be that, that close to the center. Right. Pretty good. Might go a little left. Over, correct? Yeah. Definitely seeing the low spin, and it's yep. pretty consistent too. It's not it like is. deviating too far one way or the other. No, I mean, generally when the ball works in different directions, you're gonna see spin rate fluctuate, or you should, yeah. right? For a right-handed player, the draw should kill a little bit of spin. For a right-handed player, the fade or the push should yeah. add a little bit. And I think we saw that, you know, the highest being, thir uh, 3998 there that one drifted a little bit right mm -hmm. but even on the one that you pulled a little bit here the spin was still pretty um, pretty stable at 3700 yeah. now it's launching dramatically low <laughs> and, right and also spinning low but ultimately for your profile showing 16 <laughs> to 18 degrees of loft and impact giving you a, cl a club head that's throttled up loft wise probably not the right idea no yeah <laughs> but it's fun to hit you know irons that go 210 yards in the air yeah Pretty that's consistent. showing 17.6 dynamic loft that's why i'm not hitting a seven iron that's at you know 27 and a half degrees right that's why it doesn't go up with this <laughs> head very often for you you know but i i gotta say like i there's a lot of pop to this thing huge uh, a lot of explosiveness you can you can hear it too you can hear the explosiveness and impacts right um Right. So I think that's, you know, and, and again, that, I think that there was that shot that you took out maybe there mm -hmm. um, where, you know, I can tell. I mean, I'm not hitting the ball in the center of the face right now. Right. Look at that right. average I mean, impact we're, location. We're missing a little bit. You're, you know, like I've heard many times on the channel, millimeter discussion is just like a dimple on a ball. Yeah. One dimple is four. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're missing about a dimple and a half heel side. But generally, that's the danger zone for players where, it, you know, span gets right. through the roof. So if we have a player that does have that miss, now we have a tool to help kill that spin for him right. due to the weighting in that head. I mean, so I'm excited Seeing about that impact that. location is actually kind of shocking to see that my, you know, I'm still, my distance isn't, you know, being lost that much. You know, it's no. still pretty consistent. I know I had yeah. the one that was uh, a little open face, which is probably the main reason it dipped a little bit compared right. to the others in right. distance. But it's still out there. The smash was still on average one four one, despite missing it very clearly, not in the center of the face. So. Exactly. And that's, that's actually, that's really good. Wow. That's fantastic. I'm very excited to see that amount of ball speed on those misses. Let's see how it carries through going into the Max OS head. Okay. Now we're going to add a degree of loft. 
from 27.5 to 28.5. I probably need five. that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go up. <laughs> okay, talk to me, what are you seeing? It's not a huge difference to me. Okay. Definitely, the OS is definitely bigger. I yep. mean, I can see that. Yep. You know, oversized. The blade yep. length is a little taller, or a little longer, excuse me. Kay. Looks like it is a little taller too. Yep. Um, but I think the top lines are pretty similar. Okay. You know, I think you have to do some close studying to see the difference from from the top, which I think is a okay. good thing. I think that's you know something so that uh, you know when you're Callaway and you're or you're designing the heads, that's what you want is them to look relatively similar. Right. Um, right. And then one thing we should note too, you know. So TaylorMade had like their Sim Max OS, Sim Max. Yep. The OS had been the stronger lofted Correct. version in yep. their series. Yep. Callaway went that direction with the naming anyway. It went right. you know, Rogue ST Max, Max OS, but the Max is the stronger lofted versus the OS. Correct. Correct. Which is different here from Callaway. So. Yeah, it's a different way to think about it. You know, this head is designed to kind of be more left friendly for a yep. right-handed player. So again, going back to fitting where spin's gonna come off it or should when the ball wor mm -hmm. works left, we don't wanna be spinning it too low, right? Yeah. So I like the idea of Callaway saying, if we're gonna make an iron that goes left, let's throw a little bit more loft at it to help that player. Sure. Too. So let's see how we do. You can see just a, maybe a little bit more offset here too. Okay, it should. Immediately once we added one degree, now we're up into the fours. Oh yeah. Spin. Okay. That, that one was hit well. Roasted. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy how that spin is going up so much. Wow. After, yeah. you know, a, a minor adjustment to. Yeah, and your dynamic loft doesn't change a whole lot. That's right. But that's all got to do with where the where all the weighting is, Drew. The mm -hmm. center of gravity in it. Definitely going higher. Big time. With some more spin. That's that's for sure happening here. Yep. Oof. Oof. Interesting. Sound, I'm feeling, I, I feels a little bit firmer. I don't mm -hmm. know if the sound is a little bit louder or not, mm -hmm. but it feels a little bit firmer. Yeah, I, I would say it is a little bit firmer, or sound at least back here, but part <laughs> of that is because we're catching more in the middle of club head. That's, the ball yeah, speed's that's true. hotter, so it is going to have more of a bar that's true. at that point, too. <laughs> that's true. I can see that smash is a little bit higher than yep. the average with uh, the max. All right. Hit one more here. Maybe I'll miss hit this one so we're in, uh, <laughs> we're in even territory. Good stuff. Yeah, it was so a little bit more efficient with that one for sure. Yeah, I mean, even with more loft, we're seeing um, faster ball speed. Mm -hmm. So you're just interacting with that head a little bit better. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why the efficiency is climbing. Launch has come up, spins come up hand in hand. Similar carry distance, even a little bit further behind, but we're also adding about 15 feet of height for you yeah. as well, which is a big win for us. Uh, it's interesting that like attack angle, club path, like, these things are pretty similar, but they still are. adding 15 feet, you know, of height, yeah. despite, I mean, really it was just a degree higher in loft. Right, and all that really changed dynamically was a degree and a half. So do you think, do you think part of that is part of its loft for sure? Yep. Do you think there's also some magic being done with the center of gravity in there to maybe increase the launch a little bit with this OS head yeah. compared I, to the Max. I think a lot of this has to be keyed up to the artificial intelligence discussion. Yeah. You know, it's hard for players to grasp that because yeah. we don't visually see that. We can't. Right. They won't let us do yeah. that. So it's seeing is believing type thing. Yeah. But with this head, there is some strategic weighting differences where it is with that compared to the Max mm -hmm. head. So I do like that this is launching up a yeah. little bit higher and spinning a little bit more with one degree of loft difference. It's yeah, a huge Seems win. like, yeah, because one degree of loft should not make that much of a difference in spin or height, really. No. no. You know, yeah. So pretty, pretty consistent. I mean, if we take that shot out, for example, as an outlier for us, you know, now we really break down numbers, ball speeds faster, yeah. efficiency, 
Yeah, right. I mean, across the board, I love the consistency on the carry, like less than a yard different. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'll it's, take that. Yeah. Hitting the ball 209 yards in mm -hmm. the deviation for carry mm -hmm. is less than a yard. I like right. that. Very, yeah, very, very good stuff here. Very, very good. Okay, so now I'm going to change it up. Completely different visual. Yeah. Okay, more, more on your type of head. So we're going to slide into the Rogue ST Pro. Okay. okay, I think this one's going to be a hot ticket this year along with mm -hmm. the Rogue family. Um, but this one, a little bit more tungsten weight in it. I would say Loft is going to be very similar to the Callaway Apex. Okay. Like this could potentially be a blend for some players. That's what maybe. I was going to suggest, yeah. you know, based yeah, on the spec, that 30 and a half degrees aloft. Yeah. And then the way it looks, because I, you know, we got the first look at it and it mm -hmm. does seem like a little, actually this is, this is more compact looking down at than I would have anticipated. I, it, I think that's it's definitely that. in that kind of player's distance category, but I feel like it's even on the smaller end of player's distance irons. Interesting. Interesting. I, th I mean, I, again, I haven't put it up next to Apex, but right. this, it, it seems pretty small. I think a lot of that has to do with just uh, the size of the heads you were just hitting. That's, as yeah, well. <laughs> that's probably true. Because so. the, the Max and the Max <laughs> OS are, are large club heads, but this is, this looks really good. So, yeah. and like you met, ah, so I'm noticing, you know, I, the, the color fill on the grooves, you don't mm -hmm. have that yep. with any of them here. Yep. But no, it's a really clean looking iron. Completely different sound. Holy cow. Yeah, that was very soft sound. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's like I didn't even hit the ball. I know it. I know it. Wow, was that different? Wow. We're getting close to the 5,000 spin there. We are. Yep, we're also seeing a little bit more movement with this head too. It's gonna have more resistance to twist just because there's less weighting in it, okay? Mm -hmm. When you go into the more forgiving irons, the Rogue ST Max, the Max OS, there's more weighting heel and toe to help you know, slow that club head from twisting. Sure. But when you go into the smaller blade style heads, it might open that back up a little bit. Sounded good. Yeah. There's the 5,000 spin. Beautiful. That one was not quite caught perfectly there, but it's okay. going to work. Okay. I swung a little harder at it, so it worked out. <laughs> okay. That Oof. was smoked. Oof. That was smoked. That was the fastest output we've seen today at 137 so with the highest lofted club. I swung through that one and it was like, it didn't even feel a thing coming Good. through. It was just <laughs> nothing. Welcome to the middle of the face. <laughs> Swinging through, I'm like, did I actually hit the ball? <laughs> That's awesome. Really, really good to hear. Uh, well, I've got that draw working today. We do. Yeah. We're seeing it shape a little bit. It uh, looks like gonna, it might have shaped a little bit more too. I'm gonna take this one out just for example for our purposes, but yeah, yeah, you know, we did see a little bit more movement on that, like we kind of predicted early on. Anytime mm -hmm. you have less weight in the head, swing weight gets a little bit lighter. You can move it a little bit faster, kind of close that face down a little bit. But overall, output pretty similar. I'd say due to the forgiveness of that head, we're seeing the ball speed kind of fluctuate the most. Which yeah. makes sense. The least yeah. forgiving. You kind of lose a little options. bit of that, that weighting and that size. Yeah. yeah. Half, that, that's kind of what you'd expect, right? Same yep. kind of with Smash Factor 2 fluctuating a little bit more. Yep. And launch angle to come up due to loft, spin to come up due to loft. Uh, but, you know, almost a full club and distance mm -hmm. difference. And they're only talking two degrees. Yeah. You know, that's when true. you're 10 yards different carry, it's just about a full club. But peak height is very similar between the Max OS at 28.5 and the Rogue ST Pro. That's what I find interesting, is that the Rogue ST Max OS is launching that much higher and getting yeah. more. A, because of the ball speed, yeah. Anytime you have faster ball speed, you know, you can go up with it. But seeing that compared to the Rogue ST Pro <laughs> at 30 and a half, I would think it would have been the opposite. The Rogue right. ST Pro would go up. Mm -hmm. But kudos to Callaway on this Max OS head. I think that's gonna be a 
smoke show for a lot of players yeah. this year. I mean, that's the one that I'm the most intrigued by with the results here. I think, yeah. you know, I think they're all of them, you know, to deliver in terms of the ball speed, their forgiveness, kind of what you're looking for. Right. I'm really impressed. Well, the look of the pro, mm -hmm. I think, is really good. Uh, yeah. They've really, they've made a club that, I mean, it kind of looks like a blade, like a slightly oversized blade. Okay. You know, but it has that forgiveness factor in there, a little bit of juice in there with the mm -hmm. loft. Mm -hmm. But the Max OS, I mean, I, those numbers, just yeah. that, that increase in, in launch, spin, just from, you know, one degree of loft, but then the extra weighting in the OS to launch that thing higher. Right. Really well done. Right. And I think this is going to be huge for a lot of players, you know, not only viewing, but in the base as well. I mean, the two club heads right off the bat, Max and Max OS, you have a, a wide net of players. Some players need the max head to kill the spin mm -hmm. to, because they either hit it too high or add too much loft and impact. They need that head. But then the other side of the game is you and I, where we de-loft it, need to get things up. Yep. So that's where the max OS head really delivered, and I think it's going to be very good this year for Callaway. Two completely different player profiles, ultimately the third in the Rogue ST Pro, the third profile. So. Now, I know we're probably going to get some questions. Would this be a potential combo set going from, you know, the Rogue ST Max to, you know, the Rogue ST Pro? I don't know yet. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I, I mean, to your point, though, they've differentiated the models enough that there's, yeah. I think there's clear differences that, you know, for the golfer that they're suited for. Yeah. So I think that's where, and it, I, I think you could certainly blend them together, yeah. um, but it's just, I think the, you should expect different performance out of each of them. Like when you go Absolutely. from your whatever, maybe it's six to five iron or whatever it might be. Right. You should take note of the differences based on what this test showed anyway. Yeah, there, there'd have to be some strategic kind of loft to lie adjustments throughout the entire bag if we were to combo that set. Yeah. But you know, it can be done for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> but you know, from our testing today, Kind of like what I'm seeing. It's the same shot shape, you know, but I, again, I love the consistency that that Rogue Max ST, or I'm sorry, Rogue Max OS mm -hmm. uh, promoted. Just everything consistent across the board. Yeah. So that would be, you know, the most consistent today. And I think that's going to probably be the most players bags this year from Callaway. It's going to be great. So Danny, testing complete the Callaway Rogue ST irons. Um, you know, again, I'm not the perfect candidate to hit really any of these irons based on some of the things we, just, we talked about the loft and the speed that I have. But um, let's start with, I think, I think initially we thought Rogue ST Max would be the most popular, kind of fit the widest range of golfers coming in. But right. um, maybe talk to me based on what you saw in the testing there. Um, you know, what type of golfer would be best for that first one, the Rogue ST Max? So the Rogue ST Max, this is gonna fit a lot of players' bags. It's basically the spin killer. Mm -hmm. Do you want more distance? Do you wanna make the game easier on yourself? Do you wanna have that forgiveness across the entire face? If so, Rogue ST Max should mm -hmm. go into your bag for you. Um, but differences going into the Max OS, completely different profile. Yeah. We saw that due to the spin, a large characteristics change. Are you a player that struggles on getting the ball up in the air a little bit? doesn't want to have a, a loft that's at 27 and a half or 26 and a half like other manufacturers on a seven iron. Mm -hmm. Do you need more loft to get it up? Yeah. Rogue ST Max OS delivered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that was the biggest difference where, uh, you know, you kind of anticipate just on the way they look, uh, you know, they would be similar performers, right, mm -hmm. in, in the data. But uh, the, the Rogue ST Max was definitely low spin. I don't think yeah. I got it over 4,000 once. <laughs> no. Uh, and it was, you know, it was that lower launching. I think it was average was well below 100 feet from yes. me. Yeah. Then the, the Rogue ST Max OS, that launch quickly went up, that spin went up to mid 4,000s, yep. and the height went up 15, 20 feet. Yeah. Uh, so clear differences there. And again, like you said, the, depends on what you where you're at with your game. If you're a high launch player already, maybe the Rogue ST Max is for you and vice versa on right. the Max OS. And then right. lastly, this Rogue ST Pro. Again, I was really impressed by the, the look of it, a very thin profile compared to the other two. Yeah. Uh, but then, you know, definitely notice some performance differences too. Absolutely, I, I think this is gonna be a great, you know, add in to the player's distance category. Loft at mm -hmm. 30 and a half. I think it's gonna be a great competitor up against the, or the, the Apex, mm -hmm. the standard Apex. So I think we'll have to do some testing with that. Sure. But this is for a player that 
you know, wants a little more creativity out on the golf sure. course than what the Rogue ST family can offer that. You know, the Max, the Max OS. Mm -hmm. Do you want to shape the shots a little bit? Yes. Do I deliver, do I want a little bit different feel yeah. from mm -hmm. all the tunks and waiting in the, yeah. in the more forgiving heads? Do I want to change that feel? You know, so this is going to be very, very easy. It did have some lower spin tendencies too. Yep. You know, but part of that's due to the dynamic loft or where you and yeah. I are both at, right? Yeah. But overall, I think Rogue ST is going to fit your player. Uh, Rogue ST Max is going to fit your player just getting into the game, trying to get the ball up in the air. Or on the flip side, the high speed guy that can't get the launch to come down. Mm -hmm. I think where, that's where either one of those heads will deliver. The Max is going to be your spin killer. Max OS is going to be your ball lifter, so yeah. to speak. We'll call it that. So I think mm -hmm. really good testing today. I'm very excited about 2022 for yeah. Callaway. I mean, Callaway always delivers when it comes to irons, and I think they've hit it out of the ballpark once again with yes. the Rogue ST line here. So golfers, you could stop into one of our store locations to get fit, or you can call 612-216-4152 and have an online fitter over the phone or through a video chat fit you for the new Rogue ST iron. So, Danny, thanks for joining today, helping me out with the testing today. Once, like you said, these are going to be really good in 2022. Absolutely. A lot of distance, a lot of forgiveness. Let's go make some birdies.